is it that guys want like mean girls or like guys want a girl that's spicy or with attitude or like what's the case because i'm like okay maybe this is why i'm single the other day i was talking to my friend and i'm even embarrassed to say this but i was talking to my friend and i was just like complaining that's exactly what it was why do these nice guys get with girls who are mean and so the reason why i was saying this is because i was just seeing like a pattern what it what felt like it was a pattern of just seeing like really nice men being with girls who have like a nasty attitude or they're just not nice and i was just like is it that guys want like mean girls or like guys want a girl that's spicy or with attitude or like what's the case because i'm like okay maybe this is why i'm single maybe this is why no guy is checking for me like maybe i'm not mean enough like <laughs> it sounds it just sounds ridiculous but anyways there was one day that i was like genuinely like upset and i was just like man like i can't be outside of my character i'm not saying that i'm this perfect woman that i'm like the nicest person in the world that i am all these things i'm not i am far from perfect i'm far from the nicest person in the world but i do recognize respecting others and not disrespecting people that we hold it with high regard but respecting everyone you know and so I was just like, what it like, I was really like down that day uh, when I had texted her and she was just like, what are you even talking about? Like, that's just, those are just few examples. And honestly, like the guy that God has for you is gonna love you for exactly who you are. And so I remember I was at work and I was just like, you know, working, doing what I had to do and then all of a sudden, like, it was just like a whisper was just like, do not grow weary in doing good. And I was like, like I was like, huh? And I was just like, oh, that's the scripture. And I was just like, do not grow weary in doing good. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Okay, God, I see you. I see what you're doing. I see exactly what you're doing. And so it really just had me pause. I went and I read the scripture in Galatians 6, 9, and it reads, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. I believe the King James Version is the one that says, do not grow weary. Yeah. In the King James Version, it says, and let us not be weary of well-doing for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. I was just working and that whisper of do not grow weary in doing well was from God. And it literally just like shut those thoughts up real quick, like real quick. And it's so funny. I was recently at a um, relationship conference something. I don't know. I, I wasn't necessarily there for the relationship conference. <laughs> um, they had a guest speaker, Stephanie Ige, and I really wanted to go hear the word. And she was also doing a book signing. So that's why I went. But at this conference, it was such a blessing. And, you know, God is, is faithful. But at the conference, one of the biggest things that I really took from it was that marriage is an assignment, right? You know, marriage isn't just something that, oh, it's just fun. You guys look cute. You take your cute pictures. You post on the internet. Like, you have your kids and you just have this perfect idea of marriage. But marriage is actually a death sentence, right? Like, you literally have to die to your flesh every single day to be with this person. You know, in the Bible, it says, it commands husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And what did Jesus Christ do for the church? He died on the cross. So I'm not saying that to make marriage as some scary thing that is unattainable. Absolutely not. But it kind of puts things into perspective and it really helped to put things into perspective for me um, when I was having these crazy thoughts. Um, but marriage definitely is a assignment. And when you look at it that way, you recognize that you just can't be with anybody, right? There is someone that God 
is going to grace to be with you. Like there's going to be a grace that that person carries in order to be with you. A person that regardless of the flaws that you think you have, the things that you feel like make you not attractive or feel like is the, no one's going to want you for that. Like that person's going to be graced to love you even with all of that. And marriage is a constant daily dying of your flesh. You know, one of the things that God has really been dealing with me in my heart is understanding that like when I get married and become one with someone, like there are things that like I won't be able to necessarily do all the time. <laughs> like, you know, we live in this generation that's like, oh no, I'm not gonna have a man change me. No one's gonna change me. Nah, 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 nah. All I know is that there are sacrifices that you make. There are certain things that you have to change. Like right now, I am single, living by myself. I could do whatever whenever I please. But when I get married, not that my husband's going to be stifling me, he's going to be, you know, controlling me, but there are certain conversations that have to be had that said, okay, now decisions that I make don't just, you know, include myself, but also include someone else. Like this decision that you're making, how is this going to affect your partner? How is it going to affect your finances? How is this going to affect your future? How is this going to affect the plan and purpose that God has over your life and calling? When I read that verse, about not growing really weary and doing what is good. I just know that God was just showing me like, hey, my daughter, get this nonsense out of your head, please, 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 please. And trust and know that I don't want you to change your character. I don't want you to change being kind to others. I don't want you to change being respectful to others. I don't want you to change who you are that is reflection of me. The Bible commands us to love one another, right? So I don't want you to think for a second that you have to stop following the commandments that I have in my word, following the character that I have exemplified for you just because you've seen otherwise. Yeah, I was chilling. I was comfortable. I was just like, you know what, God, you do what you want to do when you want to do it send my husband however whenever you please like i was chilling and um i feel like the enemy just came and just said oh but look at her she has a nasty attitude and such a nice man why are you still single you're kind you're loving you respect other people so why are you single that's just like the enemy right trying to steal kill and destroy like to steal your joy, to steal your contentment. Like it was just like, like, how dare you? You know, I'm just content and I'm chilling. And here he comes just trying to plant these thoughts in my mind that are not even reflective of what God says about me. So I really wanted to make this video. I know it sounds so random. And part of me was just like, Dancio, why are you making this video? Like, no one's gonna think like this but maybe there is someone out there who does but not even just in the context of feeling like you have to be this mean girl to <laughs> get a man but just in the context of just feeling like you need to change anything about you in order to be with someone you know one of the things that um i was saying earlier about you know marriage being an assignment is that god is god right God is our good, good father. And God cares about me so much. Even when he gave me that scripture, whispered that scripture in my heart, I was just like, wow, God. Like, I was like getting emotional about this, but I'm just like, wow, God, like, you care about me so much. You love me so much that you will shut down even that thought that I had to remind me that, listen, I love you. I love you that much that I cannot allow you to have these thoughts in your mind, to think these things about yourself because I have someone amazing for you who's going to fit in the purpose that I have called on your life, who's going to be graced to love you. Like this assignment is too precious. This assignment of marriage is too precious for you to start acting different, attracting the wrong thing out of a single thought. And that's why 
I had to shut it down. It was just so big for me because um, I was really starting to think like how I need to change who I am, change how I talk, change all these different things. And God was just like, my daughter, please, please do not get weary in doing good. And then the verse even continues for at the right time and in due season, you will reap a harvest. And I just want to encourage anyone who's watching this, who's single, who's waiting, um, who's trusting God, who's believing God for their marriage, their spouse, um, to not grow weary in doing what is good to continue seeking after God, continue walking in the purpose that he's called on your life, continue spending time with him, just continue allowing him to speak to you. Just, just don't grow weary. I know sometimes it can get very weary. It can get very tiring. You're seeing on your timeline, just marriages, engagements, babies, and it is also beautiful and it's very easy to ask yourself the question, okay, God, so I know you're able and I know you're capable. So when is it my turn? <laughs> and I also even got a little convicted about how I was viewing other people. You know, I was putting these labels on women saying like, oh, but they're mean. How are they with a nice person? Not recognizing that. Maybe I caught them on a bad day. Like... Maybe I've had them on a bad day. Maybe, you know, all these things. I shouldn't be over here judging people and just from what I see. God is God. Whoever he needs you to be with, that person, you're going to be graced to be with each other. There's a grace that that man carries for that woman who seem who is seemingly so mean. But there's a grace that God has on his life and there's a grace that God has on her life that makes them perfect for each other. And so you can't just look at other people and just think like, well, how is it? And why is it? It just, it's just don't even bother. Just focus on your focus and continue to trust God. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. And I just want to encourage you if you are single and waiting and you are just trusting the Lord for your spouse, I'm right there with you. And I hope and I pray that from watching this video that you are encouraged to continue seeking God, to continue um, doing the work and, 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 and just to continue trusting in him and to continue doing what is good and not to um, settle, not to sacrifice who you are just for a person, Listen, if you are with someone and you are uneasy, you don't have the peace of God and you just feel as though like you are changing who you are to fit with this person, I really, really encourage you to go pray and to seek God because that is not the best that he most likely has for you. So I pray that this is encouraging. I pray that you are encouraged to keep going. But y'all already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving. And as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, y'all.